Here it is, an update on my Vitex tree after pruning. So before we talk about the tree, here's a video showing you what this thing looked like between when I pruned and now. So it's the end of June 2021 and I wanted to show you my Vitex after I pruned it earlier this year. So this year, it seems like the Vitex bloomed a lot later. I think it's because of all the cold weather we had and we had a pretty good freeze here in Oklahoma. So a couple things I wanted to point out. The first thing is the lower area, the Vitex. You can see a lot of the foliage has grown back like I mentioned in my pruning video, it would. And usually when you prune a tree or bush, uh, you'll get a lot more growth in that area. Now if you like more of the pruned look, you can go in here and clean a lot of this up and accent more of the upper part of the tree but I prefer to leave it. I actually did cut some off this area because it was just growing over some of the flowers that I'm growing. So it's really up to you. The other thing is old and new growth. You could come back and some of these branches that are obviously don't have any life, cut those back, but it's really how much time you wanna spend with this. I leave mine, so don't feel like you have to do that. Um, over time, you can kind of tell these will wither and when you go to prune in the uh, late winter, you can go ahead and just cut these back. The other thing I want to mention is that you may want to get in here and clean up some of the growth that you missed early on in pruning, but just let the tree do its thing, wait till the next year around, and then that's when you can go ahead and cut all that back. So I wanted to show you an area off this branch here that I end up pruning a lot over the years. So what you'll see is areas where you have cut and then where new growth is coming out. So all throughout this branch I have cut over the years and it just continues to sprout. That's okay. You just want to keep up with it year after year. Let's talk about the flowers on the Vitex. This is one of the reasons why I like this tree so much is just that it has such large clusters of uh, blossoms on here and it just looks really good uh, with my house and the brick and the color, it really pops out. Now this will stay on throughout most of the summer and continue to produce a lot of color and then these will turn into seed pods and fall off. So what will happen is the branches will begin to put foliage on and then these little flower pods begin to produce. And as you can see, over time they will blossom usually from the bottom all the way up to the top so the last thing i want to talk about is the pollinators this tree attracts a ton of pollinators it's early in the morning it's quite, pretty windy so i think that's why there's not a lot of pollinators on here now plus this year has been an unusual year i haven't noticed as many pollinators but i'll try to get a couple of uh, snapshots Hey, thanks for checking out my video. Go ahead and check out my pruning video from earlier this year and let me know in the comments what you might want to see next year when I prune this again.